back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Row Gal, and I am bringing you a haul video today. I'm very excited. I'm also very rusty. <laughs> um, I'm actually filming this video before I film my like channel update video. So this is quite literally the first video I have filmed since like what, September or October of last year. So um, <laughs> please give me grace. But I'm really pumped to to film this. I just have this like <laughs> new um, zest and like drive for wanting to film and talk about reselling and share my my love of this job with you guys. And so I'm very excited to film this. In fact, I was so excited that I I mucked it up. Um, <laughs> so I went thrifting literally this morning and I wasn't planning on filming a haul, but after I kind of made the rash decision in the middle of today, uh, <laughs> like deciding that I want to jump back into YouTube, I was like, oh my gosh, I got the, like the perfect items for a haul today. It's such a good like mix of stuff, um, mix of like brands and everything. And when I got home, I listed everything I took pictures, I listed, I, I knocked all that out, but I forgot I was filming a haul and I put all of my things in bags. This is what I do like after I list my items, I put it in a bag and then it goes in a bin. Um, so for this haul, I'm gonna be putting the picture of the listing up next to me, <laughs> next to my head. Uh, in the future, I would much rather film a haul where I'm holding up the items, showing you the labels, um, and things like that. So for this haul in particular, just work with me. That's what we're going to do. I almost threw in the towel. I almost said, just don't do it. Don't film it. You messed it up. But I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. But in the future, it's going to be more of a like, look at this beautiful dress. <laughs> but for today, we're popping them in right here. What I'm also going to do uh, is I'm going to not just pop in the picture of the listing, but I'm going to show you a picture of the brand tag. Uh, when I watch these videos, like that's what I... I am watching for I'm, I'm essentially watching because I want to see what brands people are picking up that's how I learn that's how we all in the reselling community learn is like you know word of mouth um, and so I want you guys to know what the tag looks like if I'm talking about a brand you've never heard of before you know it, it's important to have that visual too so after I pop the pop up the listing you'll also see a picture of the brand tag so let's <laughs> be out of breath <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time, okay? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I will be looking down at my phone, at my listings. Um, first up, first up we have this Lindy Bop Starry Night Rockabilly Space Skirt Blue New With Tag. So Lindy Bop is an interesting brand. I've actually never bought it before. I have seen it, I, won't, I don't wanna say a lot, but I have seen it frequently. I've mainly seen their dresses and their brand specializes in like pinup, rockabilly, vintage um, style items. But the resale value is not great. Um, I, however, got this at a like really great price. Oh, I should say this too. I averaged all of my cost of goods, just so I don't have to tell you guys every item how much I spent. I averaged my cost of goods today. So I combined what I spent at both thrift stores that I went to. I went to a Goodwill and then like my honey hole thrift store, like a local thrift store that is like my personal gem. Um, I averaged what I spent divided or added up what I spent divided it by how many items I got. And it was six bucks, six dollars and 33 cents an item. So just PSA about that. So this was a really good price. I felt like for the type of skirt it is, it's a like full skirt, um, side zip, new with tag, like I said, and the print is just, I think it's adorable. It's this like celestial print with comets and moons and stars and UFOs. And so I decided to bite the bullet and get it. Um, again, like the, for me personally, like the comps on this aren't great. They're kind of all over the place from like 25 to like 45 when it comes to skirts um i'm not gonna lose money uh but i couldn't i couldn't pass it up i personally am i don't buy things because they're cute like this pattern really roped me in but i don't or this print but i don't buy things because they're cute i buy like brand first like i'm paying attention to the brand uh and then i'm looking at what it looks like and then i'm checking comp so this was kind of this is like a um, experimental one for me um Super cute nonetheless. Okay, next up we have these Zaya Light and Tight White Stay Gold Leggings. Um, I love picking up Zaya. If you're unfamiliar, it is an MLM 
uh, activewear company and I will definitely say that they used to fly out of my closet and they don't so much anymore they still sell for a good amount they just take longer to sell there was no way I was passing these up I've never seen this um, print before and they were a large so I was I was definitely like I was definitely on board with with grabbing those and then when I went to check comps or not when I went to check comps, actually, when I, um, actually, no, it was when I went to check comps because I didn't check them in the store because I knew I was going to pick them up. So when I went to go list them and I was looking at comps, um, this is like a more rare style. Like I didn't find a lot of listings for it. And, um, most of them had sold in like the 45 to $55 range, which was really exciting because it's, you know, a little bit more of a rare pair of leggings. Okay. Next up we have these. Lululemon jet jet crop pants. I put multicolor because I had no idea what to call this particular print. It's like leafy and floral and then has these like like dots all over it where it almost looks like it's like netted but it's not. Uh, I actually just listed a pair of jet crops I think like a week or two ago. <clears throat> I pretty much always list my Lululemon pants and leggings at 50 unless it's rare in that case i list, list them higher or if there's like damage or pilling or something i'll obviously list them lower i don't know how these are going to do i was happy that i found a stock photo but i do feel like they are kind of a funky print um i got this at my honey hole thrift store and they don't mark up any of their lululemon and they also had these in the pajama section so i was glad that i went through the pajamas that's not something i normally do but i had a nightgown sell recently um really quickly and for a decent amount so i was like well i'm just gonna go through these and then i was like what the heck lululemon pants <laughs> so i was really pumped to find those i don't know we'll have to see if they get any traction okay this was a very exciting find um this is a alc dress it's the sullivan mini dress and it's 100 percent silk which is awesome i didn't even notice when i when i bought it um because i saw it and i was like oh my god i loved the print um obviously love the brand alc is a very expensive brand i've never sold any alc on poshmark but i have sold it on the real real and what i have noticed with them is the things that are like printed or embroidered or different like like not basic colors those sell a lot better than just like their basics because they do make a lot of like gray shirts and like black pants and like things like that um so it's more of the like ooh ah pieces that tend to do better i wasn't sure what i wanted to list this at and um if you're if you're on poshmark y'all know when you enter all your stuff and it gives you like the range and the range was really high it was like their like suggested list price was like 114 to like 225 or something so i went with 150 i feel like that's fair i mean for six bucks like i will be very flexible in my pricing it's such a cute dress it has a drawstring it has pockets and again i didn't even know till i got home and took a picture of the material tag that it was 100 percent silk so this was maybe yeah this was probably my best find of the day all right next up we have one of my favorite brands to sell this is a janu signature tulip scrub top gray um excuse me as you can tell i always put like the color at the end of my um listing titles so Janu is slowly but surely um outpacing figs for me in terms of scrubs that i like to sell those are the only two brands of scrubs that i sell um and i love selling figs because they sell fast they don't necessarily sell for a ton of money um usually for me it's like 26 to 32 dollars for the tops maybe a little more for the pants but my fig stuff has kind of been sitting and the janu stuff has been like flying out the door last week alone in one day i sold two pairs of pants and a uh, scrub top to three different people um all in one day so i was pumped to find this uh definitely keep an eye out it's usually they're usually always in the scrub section but janu pieces they are i mean you can see from this stock photo like they're really cute like the gold zipper detailing the like tulip sleeves so sometimes they will be in the shirt section definitely definitely pick it up if the price is right this was an exciting find for me as well i love selling sundance it sells really quick for me this is the sundance provence dress uh the listing was still on the website they don't have any in stock right now but it was still on the website so i was able to snag the, the stock photo and the one bummer with this is that um you might be able to tell in the in the stock photo there's like a tassel 
there's tassels <laughs> that come down um, and it goes like through the neckline. Mine didn't have that. I guess it was missing. You can't tell at all. Um, it doesn't, it's not like, oh, you know, on a pair of pants where the drawstring's missing and you can tell, you really can't tell. I did note that um, in the description. I decided to list it for 60. I feel like that's kind of on the high side. So I'll keep it there for a little bit and uh, kind of see where, where that goes. Like 10 minutes ago, somebody asked for measurements on it. So that's a good sign. Um, but Sundance is like one of my favorites. I feel like I don't find it a ton. Um, but it's like one of those labels where when I do, I'm like, ooh, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's a bread and butter. Cause for me, bread and butter means like you sell it a lot, but it's, you know, one of those brands where like, you're not going to get a ton for every single piece, but like if you buy it and list it appropriately, it will sell. Okay. We have three more items. Next up are these cheeky Woodstock hot pants leggings. I love selling cheeky. Um, Tiki leggings are made with recycled PET, so they're very like environmentally friendly. They are really, they're a really neat feel to the touch. Like they're super soft, but they're almost kind of cooling. They're so lightweight. I weighed these, I think they were like four ounces. Uh, and this print was just, I thought was super cute. It has the wildflowers on the side and the rainbow. And they're kind of like, they look like they're like scribbled, kind of like drawn on the pant. Um, the one thing with Tiki is that Number one, I would never pay up for them. Up meaning like eight bucks or more. Number two, you do kind of have to pay attention to what style your pr print you're picking up. There are some that are so saturated um, that will just sit and sit and sit in your closet and never sell. I've never seen this print before, which is which is why I grabbed them. So I listed these at 40. I usually list my Tiki between like 38 and 45. Um, and I don't think these are gonna be in there very long, like I said, because I've never seen this print before. Okay, next up is this Ava Varro scoop neck brown, scoop neck dress brown. <sighs> I have such a love-hate relationship with Ava Varro because some of her stuff sits with me, some of it flies. My sister sells Ava Varro like their hotcakes. Like she sells it so quickly. Um, and I saw this today and it was like one of those things where I'm like, I just can't pass it up. Like it, this might be an item that flies. You never know. Right. And I feel like the people who like Ava Varro love Ava Varro. Um, the one bummer with her is that there aren't a lot of stock photos out there. So it makes it a little tricky, but, um, I did really like this dress. It's tiny. Um, but I liked the fit of it. I liked the scoop neck and that it's somewhat of a fit and flare. Um, so we shall see, a, I feel like a broken record, but I, I was not going to pass it up for that price. Um, and I don't think I have, I don't think I've sold it or I don't think I've sold an Ava Varro since I've been cross listing. Like it's been a long time. Um, and I think I started cross listing in like December to like Mercari and eBay. And I don't think I have had one listed, I guess I should say in that time. So it's possible that on one of those other platforms, it'll fly faster. Um, fingers crossed, I guess. Okay. And then the last thing that I got, I knew there was something else that rivaled the ALC dress. And this is what it was, is the, this Zadig, 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 I don't know. And Voltaire Kiyoki punk strass jacket. So this jacket, I've never found Zadig and Voltaire before. I, I knew what it was, but, and I knew the label, but I had never found it before um, myself. And it was in the sweater section um, at the Goodwill today. This was the one item that I paid up for. Y'all, the prices at my honey hole are like so low. Um, so this jacket is what kind of like bumped everything up because a lot of the honey hole stuff I got for like three bucks. Um, this jacket I did pay $15 for after looking at comps. So I looked at sold comps and there weren't any under a hundred. There was like a hundred, 138, 150, 160, 125. Like all the comps were fantastic. So, um, I decided to bite the bullet and pay up for it. That is not something I do frequently at all. <laughs> um, so I, um, was kind of impressed with myself that I decided to do that. I'm trying to be a little bit more open-minded when it comes to paying up for things that will sell for a lot. 
so I am so pumped to see the type of attention this gets and to see what this actually will sell for I think it's it's just the coolest jacket it buttons up but then it also zips it has punk written on the back in rhinestones and then it's like distressed throughout but this one this one has me really really excited all right y'all that's it that is my haul from today I feel really good about that I like that I got everything today <laughs> and talked to you about it today um it kind of just like you know when you when you find these brands and you get really excited about labels and then you're filming the same day I don't know it just kind of like that adrenaline is still going I guess is what I'm trying to say so that was really fun I hope you guys liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed do you have anything else to add about the brands that I mentioned today do you like selling any of those do you sell a lot of Janu let me know uh and yeah that that's a wrap on that y'all I will see you in my next one